All right, video five. Next class, you guys will be doing your lab, so there won't be an awful lot for me to do. I'll wander around and help you guys in any way you need, but I look forward to seeing your results. That being said, I think that I'll use this time in this video to review really quickly all three laws. Now that you have a better understanding of each law individually, hopefully this will be able to, to coalesce them, to, to make them all kind of unite in this idea of motion. The first law is the law of inertia, and that is that an object in motion tends to stay in motion, while an object at rest tends to stay in rest, unless it is acted on by an outside force of some kind. The next law is the relationship of force, mass, and acceleration, and that can simply be expressed as this equation F equals mass, or F equals M times A. Lastly, the third law is about reactions, um, and, and that was that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but all of them are related in that they're comparing force and mass and acceleration and the motion of objects um, and, and the way that intera it, objects interact with each other. Really quickly, I think that these are some important vocabulary words that you might want to know. Inertia, um, simply that things don't want to change their motion. If they're moving already, they don't want to stop moving. And if they're not moving, they don't want to start. Furthermore, that inertia is related directly to mass. The more mass something has, the more inertia it has, meaning it's more difficult to move something really big than it might be to move or stop something really small. Next, we have force, which is a push or a pull on an object. It could be a field force like gravity where you don't need to touch anything, or it could be a physical force like if I were to push this eraser you know, across the board. So things like that, those are forces. Mass, simply put, is the amount of matter that something is made up of. Well, like how much stuff is there? Acceleration is a change in velocity. Whether something is speeding up or slowing down, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's acceleration. Lastly is a free body diagram. Free body diagrams are um, just an illustration of the forces acting on a given object. So me, standing here on this ground, I would have, I would be represented by a dot, Gravity would be pulling me down, we call that weight. The ground would be pushing up because it's a surface pushing up, we're going to call it the normal force. Those would be my two forces and this would be my free body diagram. I expect you guys to be able to do this um, and you will be asked to do something like this for your labs. And that's it for today.